Baseball season is on the horizon. Uh, opening day is, is coming up very soon. But there is one team, however, that we are not 100% sure exactly where they're going to play. Of course, we're speaking about the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, Toronto, uh, Canada, has, has denied them uh, you know, access to, to, to playing in the stadium. So they are actually they, – they've been asking around, asking their friends around the league, who's got a stadium? Who can, who can, we, uh, who can we borrow from? Who can we, whose uh, spot can we use? Whose house can we come over to for Thanksgiving dinner to get that extra plate of food? Um, but what do you guys think? Do, um, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping by, by their opening uh, day game they have a location. Um, but how, 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 how big is this that, that the, the Blue Jays don't have a, a home stadium right now? This is absolutely huge for Toronto just to go out and play on American soil, number one. Number two, there's not going to be any fans going out there playing. Number three, with everything going on, you have the NHL, basically. You have all the Eastern Conference teams playing and having their hub city up in Toronto. And how close it is from, from uh, Rogers Center to where Scotiabank Arena is, it's just absolutely going to be unbelievable up there. But not only that, but just to see what's going on, we've heard Buffalo come out, we've heard Cleveland come out and talking about uh, having their games. This is just absolutely unbelievable news that – you're not going to see Toronto up in Toronto, but there's no fans. So either way, it makes it makes somewhat sort of sense. And not only that, but, you know, with baseball, it's America's pastime, and you're seeing all these people now going to be coming up to the Canadian border and playing up there. It's unfortunate that Toronto is the only Canadian team in the major leagues, but they don't want to have an outbreak again. They don't want to have an outbreak that – you know, of COVID-19 and such. So realistically, for the Canadian government, they're, they're looking out for what's really going on and what's, you know, what's the bigger picture here for, for the city of Toronto. Yeah, I think it's, it's huge, but in a bad way for a number of reasons. One, Toronto has been in this rebuild mode for a few years now, and they've got a couple of young, very talented players that they won't get to showcase in front of, you know, in front of their own uh, stadium, even though the fans won't be there. The right. fact that they've got to now play every game on the road is a little bit of a negative for them. Mm-hmm. Um, secondly, we know that this season is going to be condensed down to 60 games within 67 days. So that's a uh, very high demand on a team to say, you've got to play every game on the road and we've got to figure out where these games are going to be played, where you guys are going to be staying at, how will you guys be able to practice beforehand. So there are a lot of elements that I think already get thrown against this young team that was trying to figure out a way to compete against the juggernauts like the Yankees. Um, For Major League Baseball, it's not that big of a deal if they can figure it out ultimately because they want the games played and we want to see the games played. Uh, But for the organization as a whole, I don't think it's a good look. Yeah. um, I I mean, the the fans are already not being there is is a thing in itself because, you know, I mean, as players, who who doesn't want their their, their home crowd, they're rooting them on, giving them that extra burst of energy. Um, but and when you when you're talking about it, we're not even going to be in our own stadium, so you now you you lose even more of the home field because now you don't even have that level of comfort that you would have uh, playing in your home stadium. Like you, you know, you mentioned Eric, as far as we don't know now, the, the practice times is going to be different because now we can't just come and go as as we please. We got to figure this whole thing out, figure what we're going to do. I know they were talking about Pittsburgh. But there's been, as of now, there's been nothing uh, definite um, in regards to them having a stadium to play in. So I definitely think this puts them at an advantage, especially, you know, with them being a younger team. Um, I think if they were an older team, they'd probably be able to deal with it a little bit better just because, you know, the veterans, they haven't been through so much. Something like this is like, all right, whatever. We're going we're gonna to play baseball, and, and that's going to be the end of it. But with a lot of younger guys to really get them to kind of lock in and get focused on the season, they kind of need to have that – that home base worked out already. Right. And, and you consider, um, you know, again, with the amount of games that they're playing in a short amount of time, now these guys can't even stay in their own homes. Now you're going to basically be on the road for the next two months, which is unheard of in sports that no team ever goes on a road trip for two straight months. And these guys are now going to have to live out of a hotel, live out of bags and try to figure out their day to day life while they're on the road. Yeah. And not only that, too, but we get to see what Charlie Montoyo is going to be capable of being the Blue Jays' first-year manager after replacing John Gibbons. So 
there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff on this uh, first year manager's plate for sure. Yeah, you're already dealing with you know with everything, all the complications because of COVID. But now you're a new manager coming in. You don't even get to go to your home stadium to to start your first season with the team. So it's got to be be rough. Um, I'm sure things will ease up once they actually have an, an idea of where they'll be playing this season. But right now, while things are still up in the air, I know it's got to be be a little stressful um, for everyone in the organization. Absolutely. But uh, listen, hopefully they'll get it together uh, soon enough. Because again, we only got a few more days left before before the uh, 2020 season begins. Uh, fuck us. This is your African King of Comedy, Michael Blackson. You watching real friends, real talk. Get real with it, my son. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. Real 